Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be back. I am just in the brief interim period, post-finals and awaiting results, so I'm really excited to be back in front of the camera, especially to be talking about something as cool as I'm talking about today. Now I'm a big fan of medical education products, as you well know, and I've worked with some huge companies, uh, think 3D for Medical, and some very small single person enterprises such as How to Draw Anatomy. And whenever I see a new MedEd product that I think looks really cool, I will reach out to the person behind it just to try and learn a bit more about their creative process, why they brought this product to market and what they're hoping to achieve. What's the story, the motivation behind the product and ultimately, are they going to help the group that they're aimed at? So I reached out to Dr. Tom Watchman for a review sample of his brand new Zero to Finals flashcards in the run-up to my own finals. I thought this would make a really organic and genuine opportunity to test these things and see if they truly could take me from zero to finals. Just in the interest of full disclosure, guys, before we move on with the review, I asked for a sample of these for the purposes of this video and this review, but the thoughts and opinions and feelings that you're about to hear are mine, mine alone, and neither Tom nor anyone else at zero to finals will review this video before it goes live. With that out of the way, on with the review. Many of you, like me, will have been furiously turning the pages of the Zero to Finals book series, and specifically the thing that I liked was the simplicity. There is no extraneous, useless fluff, pure, unadulterated, concentrated, high-yield content, that most buzzworthy of medical terminology, with the occasional exam tip thrown in for good measure, which is always something we like to see. So what I was hoping therefore was that his flashcards would mirror the same style as the books. And this is because I see many, many sets of flashcards available online, either that people have made and they want to share with the world, or that businesses are trying to sell to healthcare students. And unfortunately, I think that most of the products in both of these camps are pretty universally terrible. An effective flashcard is supposed to be a simple, succinct summary of a topic and is a reminder of something that you have already learned, not a means to learning new information in and of itself. Something that is supposed to stimulate bringing memories to the surface such that you can reproduce, verbalize, whatever you like, under exam conditions and under the stress of exam conditions. I am pleased to report that these are genuinely excellent flashcards. What these essentially are is a companion to the Zero to Finals books and website and are intended for spaced repetition and recall of all your medical content over time. And just looking at the cards themselves, they retain the exact same design ethos that we are used to in Zero to Finals. They are essentially like mini medical cases with a short viva on each subject. And to me, this means that they best lend themselves either to your multiple choice questions, the SBAs, single best answer questions that are common in medical exams, or to long cases where your knowledge on these conditions will actually be tested by, say, a consultant or a junior doctor. And what this also means is that regardless of which medical school you attend, these will likely still be useful for you. So these cards are printed on nice heavy stock paper with absolutely no bleeding from the images or text, which I really like to see. Once again, a mark of quality and I get the feeling that Dr. Watchman has actually gone out of his way to make sure that these are right and represent the quality of his brand. And my favorite element of these cards is that they use the same images that you'll see on the Zero to Finals website and in the book, which means that there's a really consistent association that you can build between the conditions and the images. And that consistency is really crucial in a memory device like these. There are 10 sets of cards with approximately 20 to 25 cards per set, which covers all of the main medical specialties, your cardiology, your neuro, your respiratory medicine, all of the big topics are here. The best way to think about what's included is that it's the most important content from the green zero to finals medicine book in an easily testable format. This means you won't find any paediatrics, gynae or surgery here, but we may see those in the distant future. Now, we do need to come to the elephant in the room here, which is the premium price. At £50 for the full set of flashcards, these are expensive, especially when the target audience is students. And to be completely frank, under normal circumstances, I think that's too much for a set of flashcards, especially when I can buy from very established brands like Netta and their anatomy flashcards for half the price, as well as the preponderance of platforms like Anki, Quizlet, Pass Medicine and the like. However, I would still recommend these. And the reason why 
is that I don't feel it's fair to view these flashcards in isolation because they don't exist in isolation. These are a companion product to a very good free platform that already exists. And the content of these flashcards is shared every single day on the Zero to Final social media channels, especially their Instagram page. And what we're looking at here is not a gateway product. There is no walled garden. There are no additional services to sell you. This is the additional service. This is purely a premium item for people who have made the most of the Zero to Finals platform already, reap the benefits from it, and are willing to give something back and invest into the resources to maximize their learning. And crucially, this doesn't come at the expense of those who are unable to pay for them. Therefore, I think the target audience for these who should buy them is exactly that group, people who already use and engage with Zero to Finals, whether that be the textbooks, the website, the podcast, the YouTube channel, all of that stuff that is out there, and they simply want an additional tool to help consolidate their learning and test their knowledge. So what's my ultimate take? Is 50 pounds in isolation too much for a set of flashcards? Yes, however, would I pay £50 for the flashcards and access to the Zero to Finals website and all of the other stuff that's out there? Yes, I absolutely would. So just some final thoughts. Do not buy these expecting them to teach you medicine from the ground up because they're not gonna do that. And indeed, in the B-roll, you'll have seen that I've annotated many of these cards with additional facts and management steps and things that I think are important. If however, like me, you dread the thought of staring at a phone or a desktop screen all day doing pass med all day every day in the run up to finals, then trust me, this is the alternative that you're looking for. That's the value of these. And beyond everything else, guys, as someone who hates with a fiery passion the commodification of medical education and the abuse and exploitation of desperate, anxiety-ridden medical students, I would say, if you can, we need to make efforts to celebrate people like Tom that are putting stuff out there that they're passionate about and because they want to help the community and make the med ed space a better place. I didn't pay for these. I got them for free for the purposes of review because I asked for them. Would I buy them for myself or for the medical student in my life that's important to me? Yes, I absolutely would. So that brings us to the end of another video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. You can check out the full written review on my website, olliburton.com, as well as more med ed resources, interviews, and entertainment. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.